we have a few more days left of February and WKYC of course is still proudly going red for women and we are just so happy to be helping the American Heart Association and University Hospitals with this movement because it is so important and I recently sat down and talked with Dr. Ellen Markowitz from UH. Let's take a look. February is American Heart Month and we are going red for women to raise awareness and to spread the word and I am honored to be joined by Dr. Alan Markowitz today to talk more about a new trial that's being done. So you're kind of getting away from the bigger incisions that's and correct. you've been able to put catheters in the aortic valve. Correct. So what is this new Apollo trial? I hope I'm making sense. Sure. No, you are. The, the two most common valves that we operate on are the aortic valve and the mitral valve. And we've shown that we have a very good technology and a very good replacement for the aortic valve that we can put in with a catheter and avoid a big open incision for standard open heart surgery. Now we're tackling the mitral valve, which is a lot tougher. Okay. It's in a different location. The structure is quite different. And we have the technology now that will allow us to actually replace the mitral valve with a catheter. Uh, we never thought we'd actually get there, but we're there now. It's amazing. What type of patient would be a candidate for this? Anyone, or is there a specific? Well, we are, we, I run the valve center, so we see a lot of patients with valve disease, both aortic and mitral. And the patient we're looking for specifically for this trial would have mitral regurgitation, which is a big leak back across the valve. Mm -hmm. uh, a patient who probably would be uh, a little too frail to undergo a big open heart operation. Sure. Uh, and one where we can slide this valve into place with a catheter up through the apex of the left ventricle. The left ventricle is shaped like a football. So at one point of the apex, we would slide a catheter up into the mitral valve and then deploy this valve. This valve will stay in place with no sutures. Wow. So the design of the valve is really quite ingenious and uh, it has been demonstrated in a small series of patients to work quite well. So now um, the device manufacturer, which is a very major manufacturer in the United States and all over the world, has devised this trial for 40 centers across the United States uh, to demonstrate the efficacy, the effectiveness of this sure. valve. So moving forward, I guess, it, is it fair to say, you know, you're hoping to be less invasive in procedures? Absolutely. So if we can put this valve in with a catheter, it still requires an incision that's about this big mm -hmm. through the apex of the left ventricle, the point of the football, and the patient is asleep for it. Okay. And that will allow us to put a catheter up through the point of the heart and position that valve precisely with all the technology that we have, both echo and with fluoroscopy, which is x-ray, that shows us that the valve is precisely deployed. And I could almost feel the wheel spinning as you're listening to the doctor. How can patients that are, are listening today find out more about this procedure and potentially mm. having it? Well, there's a regular uh, line through University Hospital uh, where patients can call and uh, and talk to uh, the people involved in this study, which would be both myself and Dr. Adesani, who's our interventional cardiologist. Cardiology and cardiac surgery do this jointly. We actually get along and even <laughs> like each other. So um, it's, a, it's the whole team approach. We do a huge assessment, um, and it's more than just the heart, it's lung function, liver function, it's a bunch of things that have to be done before we can do this but it's the wave of the future. Yeah. Uh, it has definitely had a, an impact in aortic valve surgery, and this will absolutely have an impact in mitral valve surgery. Doctor, thank you so much for all you do, making our hearts healthier every day. Well, thank you, Holly, it's so been a pleasure. So good to speak to you, and uh, for more information, goredforwomen.org.